Yes, hi everyone that is watching our lesson on BTN TV at this moment. I salute everyone outside there. Uh, my name is Teacher Fred, as usual, from Wisdom Center in Wigesara District, that is Kalumuna. For those who have been following our lessons, they know where we ended, and I would like us to continue from where we ended. Today I want us to look at specifically proportions. I want us to look at proportions, and after there, we shall also continue on proportions. We have direct proportions and other different types of proportions. For today's case, I want us to begin with direct proportions is what we are going to look at specifically. Tomorrow we shall look at a different type of proportion, but for today's case, I want us to go with the direct proportions. And when we talk about direct proportions, we are given some examples, or we are given an example, first of all here, with these different items. We are given the prices, we are given items in different quantities, and we are asked to find out some other quantities. So let's look at example one. Example one which says, the cost of a book is 3,000. So if they say a cost of a book is 3,000, then the statement continues and say, find the cost of 20 similar books. When us look at this, when they say the cost of a book, the cost of a book simply mean one book. So if it is meaning one book, Instead of saying the cost of one book, they have just used an article A to represent one book. So the cost of one book is 3,000 francs. After, three, after identifying the cost of one book as 3,000 francs, I would like us to go to the question and identify what the question wants us to do. The question is asking us to find the cost of 20 similar books. Okay? Now, if it happened that one book, first of all, we have to identify the cost of one book. So the cost of one book will be 3,000. Everyone knows that. So we shall say the cost of one book is equal to 3,000. Then from there, we shall be required to find the cost of 20 books, similar books actually. When this word is similar, I mean the same type of books. Okay? So we shall say one book, one book is equal to 3,000. Francs. That is the cost of one book. But the question wants us to find the cost of 20 books and of the same type or of the similar type or the same category. If they say the same type or similar type is the same. So if one book of this type of books is 3,000, now they are asking us how much will 20 books cost us? Here it will be very simple. We shall come here, we say one book will be costing us 3,000. What about 20 books? What about 20 books? 20 books will be equivalent to, we don't know. So we need to find out how, if, if a person spends only 3,000 on one book. But at the same time, <clears throat> this person would wish or would like to buy 20 books. How much would that person spend on that 
quantity of books we shall say if one book is equal to this amount of money that is 3000 then 20 books will be 20 times the amount of one book and the amount of one book is already identified as 3000 so we shall say times 3000 friends this 3000 is the amount for one book but you want to buy 20 books so we shall get the 20 books times 3000 meaning that every book is sold at 3000 but you are going to buy 20 of them so if we are going to buy 20 of them we shall multiply this out and we say 2 times 3 it will give us 6 when i get 2 times 3 it will give us 6 then after getting six, I will come and count the number of zeros that are remaining. I will have one, two, three, four. So we have four zeros. I will come and say one, two, three, four. Francs. What does this mean? It means that if one book costs 3,000, then 20 books will cost us 60 thousand francs that is the amount that one person can spend on 20 books if you want to buy 20 books so i'll come and have my last statement by saying there are for 20 books equals to 60,000 francs then after there after getting my answer I will get the ruler and I underline my answer using a ruler. Why should we use the ruler? To make sure that your work is neat. Because once your work is neat, it really also gives the person who is marking your book some, some, some time. Okay? So I will come and underline my work using a ruler. Uh. So. This makes the end of the first example. If one book costs us 3,000, then 20 books will cost us 60,000. Without wasting a lot of time, for those who have just joined us and you might have already missed some steps back, please don't bother. Just subscribe BTN YouTube. You'll find this lesson and you watch it. As we go to the second example, I want us to look at this. What does the second example say? The second example states that five shirts cost 40,000. What is the cost of six similar shirts? So let's look at example again, example two once again. It says, five shirts cost 40,000 francs. What is the cost of six similar shirts? Now when we look at this question here, you realize that they have given us the amount that one person spends on five shirts at once. We don't know how much one shirt cost us. So if we don't know the amount of one shirt, it is not easy for you to determine the amount of six shirts. But remember we know, if you want to buy five shirts at once, how much did you spend? You spent 40,000. If you want five shirts, you spent 40,000. Now if you spend 40,000 on five shirts, they are asking us, if five shirts, five all of them at once, is equivalent to 40,000. Now, what about if you are going to buy six shirts? We don't know. So we need to identify that. We shall say, solution. We first identify the amount of five shirts. They have say five shirts. When you want to buy five at once, just once, you will pay how much? You will pay 40,000. 1,000 francs. Those are five shirts. 
you get one, two, three, four, five. When you put them together, you pay 40,000. But now this time round, they want you to buy six. Remember, they have told you the amount of five shirts. But for you, you want six. Now, how are you going to find out the price of six shirts? For us to be in order to find the price of six shirts, the first thing you need to do is we have to identify the amount that a person spends on one shirt. So we shall come here and say, if five shirts is equal to 40,000, then what about one shirt? One shirt. One shirt would be equal to. Remember, this is money for five. But we want one. Now, we shall get this money, we divide by this number of shirts. So we shall have 40,000 francs. Divide by how many shirts? Five. Because you bought five. When there are five, you pay 40,000. So we shall divide by five. Why are we dividing by five? Because we want to know the amount of one shirt. Then from there, we shall continue. We say, if this is what they wanted, they want us now to find the amount of six shirts. Let's first find the amount of one shirt. I will say, 40,000 francs divide by five. I want us to divide this now by five, one. Okay? How many groups of five is in five? It is only one. Then I will come here. I will say four divided by five, four is small. So we shall go with 40. So we say 40 divided by five, you'll find out that we have eight times. Okay, what does it mean? One shirt cost us, here we are remaining with eight, then here we have three zeros, one, two, three. So we shall have three zeros here. Francs, what does it mean? One shirt is equal to 8,000. But if you want five, then you will get, if you want five shirts, you will get Eight times five, it will give you forty. Five shots is equal to forty thousand. One shot is equal to four thousand. After finding the cost of one shot, now we need to find the cost of six shots because they say what is the cost of six shots. We already now know how much is one shot. We already know how much is five shots. Now let's come to find out the amount someone can spend on six shots. If you go to market and you want to buy six, one is 8,000. But for you, you want six. According to the question, what is the cost of six similar shots? So I'll come and say six shots, six shots will be equal to you'll get the amount of one shot, one shot, which is, one shot is equal to 8,000. If you want only one, it is equal to 80,000. So I'll have my 80,000 francs. That is for one shot. Time was, how many shots do you want? I want six. So I'll get the amount for one shot, time was six, Shots because for you want six shots, so we shall say one shot is equal to eight. Then the six shots will be the amount for one shot times six shots, the ones you want to buy. So I will say times six. We are multiplying by six because you want six shots. Then from there, I will come here and say. When you get 8,000 francs times 6 shots, the number of shots that you want, they are the ones we are now multiplying out. We shall maintain the units as francs. We want now to say how much do you spend on 6 shots. So we shall say 6 times 0, it will give us 0. 6 times 0, it will give us 0. 6 times 0, it will give us 0. 6 times 8, 
6 times 8, it will give us 48. So I'll come and write it here. 48. 1, 2, 3, comma. Then from there, I'll come and say, there are 4, 6 shots. 6 shots will be equivalent to 48,000 francs. Then after that, I'll get my ruler and underline the answer. So this confirms us that one shot, if it is sold at 8,000, then it's six shots, you will pay 4,800. But a person who wants five pays this, 40,000. Then for you who wants six, you will pay 4,800. Then another person who wants one will pay 8,000. Okay. For those who have just joined us, those ones who have just switched on their TVs right now that have not been following us since the beginning, please don't get worried. If you need to get the same piece of work, simply just subscribe BTN TV. Uh, you go there to their YouTube, you subscribe there, check on their Twitter accounts, check on their Instagram, check on their Facebooks. You'll find everything that you need concerning this question are uh, this work that we are having however for any question that somebody may feel like want to ask the person who was delivering the content you will get the number at the end of it all and you will whatsapp your question and you'll be answered as i search off to number or uh, example three allow me to take this initiative once again to appreciate the staff of btn for this initiative that they have really sacrificed for the country for our candidates to be uh, to benefit from them however let's switch to example number three what does example number three say example number three it says first is a primary six people at Wisdom Center School in Wijasara District. She went to Kigali City and bought 15 kilograms of meat at 37,500 francs. Work out the amount of money she spent on five kilograms. So we need to interpret this question well. When you look at the question, this child is at Wisdom Center within Vigesera District. Uh, she's in primary six. She went to Kigali. We don't know whether for the first time or the second time. When she reached Kigali, she had to buy some meat for the family and the friends. How many kilograms did she buy? She bought 15 kilograms, a lot of meat, 15 kilograms. But out of those 15 kilograms, how much did she pay? Yes, she bought 15, we agree. But how much did she pay for those 15 kilograms of meat? Is what we want to know. And when you look at the question, it says, for all the meat she bought, she paid how much? 37,500 francs. Add. When you see the word each kilogram, it means one kilogram. If you say per kilogram, it means one kilogram. But for this case, this question here, it is not for one. They have said add. He bought 15 kilograms add. It means all the 15 kilograms. He, this girl paid 37,500 francs. That was the money that she spent on 15 kilograms of meat. Now, if that is the amount that she spent on 15 kilograms of meat, let's ask ourselves, how much money did she spend on 5 kilograms of meat? 15 kilograms, 37,500. Then, what about 5 kilograms? We need to know that. And how shall we know the amount that this person paid for 5 kilograms? 
When you look at the question, we need to first of all identify the amount that she spent on each kilogram of meat to raise up her money up to this amount on the quantity of meat that was given. So if 15 kilograms, she paid 37,500, all of it, we now need to find out the amount that she was paying for each kilogram. And for us to find the number or the amount of money that was spent on one kilogram, we shall get the amount that was given or she spent on all 15 kilograms divided by 15 kilograms. Once you divide by 15 kilograms, it means you are looking for money of only one kilogram. Okay? So, I'll come and say, I'll come and say, 15 kilograms of meat, 15 kilograms of meat, 15 kilograms of meat. She spent how much? She spent 37,500 francs. There is a very big difference between question one or example one and example three. When you look at, when you look at example one here, when you look at example one here, Example one, they say, the cost of a book. That one, it means only one book. It was at this money. But example three, it is not related to this. Because this is the amount that was spending on one book. And they gave you money for one book. But the other side, they have given you the money for all the quantity she bought. So, what does it mean? You don't multiply just directly the way we were multiplying on number one. We shall use the second method for the second, uh, second example steps to work out this third example. So we shall say 15 kilograms of meat will be equivalent to 37,500. Then we say, what about one kilogram? One kilogram of meat will be equivalent to 37,500 francs. Remember, this is the amount for 15 kilograms. So if you want for one kilogram, you will now have to divide by 15 before you get one. So we shall say, divide by 15, Kilograms. We are dividing by 15 simply to make sure that we come out with the amount somebody spent on only one kilogram. Okay? So from there, I will say, I have 15. I'll first of all ask myself that how many groups of 15 can go into 37? Definitely, we shall say, by 15, once. By 15, 37 divided by 15. You'll find out that we have only two groups. And the two groups gives us 30, meaning that we remain with the 7. 7 it comes here to make 75. How many groups of 15 are in 75? Come aside, if you're not sure of what you're going to do. Say, 15... 15, 15, 15, 15, let's add, 15, 15, 15, 20, 25, we shall write 5, we go 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so we shall write here 7, how many groups are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it means here we shall have by 15, they are five groups. 
Then we are remaining with the two zeros. We shall cancel them out and we write them up here. Then finally I will say one kilogram was costing us 2,500 francs. This is now the money that was spending on only one kilogram. But when you get this amount she spent on one kilogram and you multiply by 15, you will come out with the amount she spent on the meat she bought, the whole meat she bought, 15 kilograms. Uh, if one kilogram is equal to 2,500, that is now one kilogram. Uh, they want us to find the amount that we first spend on five kilograms. Since we have known one, now we shall say five kilograms of meat. Five kilograms of meat. One kilogram is already known for one. It's 2,500. But now, for them, they want us to tell them the money we spend, or this girl spend on five kilograms of meat. So, for us to find out that amount that she spent on five kilograms of meat, we shall get one, the cost of 1,000, I mean the cost of one kilogram, times the amount that she spent on one kilogram. So, I will say, Five kilograms of meat, that is the amount they want us to find. Five kilograms of meat times, times the amount for only one kilogram. How much did she spend on one kilogram? It is 2,500. Somebody is outside there is like, why can't teacher Fred use some Kenya Rwanda to explain this? We are not allowed basing on uh, CBC curriculum, okay? It emphasizes us so much to use English such that everyone learns. So, in case you are not getting it well, please, you'll forgive me for that. But we are following the government program or the curriculum, what it demands us to do. So, let's continue with that. Five kilograms will be equivalent to five times the amount for one kilo. And one kilo is 2,500. 2,500 francs. That's the amount that we are spending on one, uh, on five kilograms. So let's find it out. I want us to multiply this. Let us use side work for those who are following us. We shall come aside and we say our side work will be our side work will be 25,000 25,000 okay 25,000 I mean 2,500 should not be 25 should be 2,500 2,500 times how many kilograms did she buy? 5 they are asking for the amount that she spent on five kilograms only. So I will say five times f zero, zero. Five times zero, zero. Then five times five, it will give us 25. So 25, we shall write five. We regroup two here. Then you get your five times five. It will uh, five times two, not five. Two. 5 times 2, it will give us 10. 10 plus 2, it will give us 12. Okay? So I'll come and write here 12. What does it mean? Look at this. This is simply what it's meaning. It is meaning that if you get, if you go to the market and you want to buy 5 kilograms of meat, for you, you will spend 12,500. So we shall come here and say this will give us 12,500. 12,500 francs. This is the amount of money that you can spend on 5 kilograms of meat. If you want to buy only 1 kilogram of meat, you will spend 2,500. If you want to buy 15, 15 kilograms, of meat, you will spend 37,500. But the person who wants to buy only five, only five kilograms, 
will spend 12,500. That is for five. And the question we wanted us to tell them how much can you pay for five kilograms, which we have now worked out. With those few remarks, allow me add a simple point on what I've done. Get your runner and underline your work after reaching the last answer. Why do we underline? We underline our work purpose to make it look neat. We don't want our work to be. After underlining, we call it our answer. Before I declare that my lesson is over, allow me to give you some exercises for the candidates who have been following us. For those who have followed me since we started, I believe outside there you have a lot of work that requires marking, but that should not worry you. Continue working out, don't get tired. Continue writing this work. At the end of it all, when they open the schools, get your book, go to the teacher. Your mathematics teacher will help you to work out this. In case your teacher gives you a different method to this one that I've used, don't oppose this method that is wrong, no. In mathematics, we use very many methods. We have very many ways of reaching the answer. It is not like other subjects, maybe where you have only uh, one, one, one formula to reach the answer. In mathematics, there are very many, and we use them basing on what we feel it is very easy for our children to understand. So, if they give you a different method, but it is giving you the same answer, ask many questions as much as possible to enable you to understand. As I summarize with my as I summarize my lesson, allow me share with you this exercise. But if you reach a certain point on my work that we have been handling or the lesson where you feel like you need to ask something that you didn't understand better as a candidate, just simply reach me. Ask your parent. They reach me on WhatsApp number and I send your question, I will attend it to you. Don't call. Send either WhatsApp message or just send a direct message. I will receive it, I will attend it to you, basing on what you need. Let's look at example one. Example one says, I mean activity one says, the cost of one book is 500. One book is 500. Find the cost of 15 similar books. If one is 500, how much can you pay for 15 books is what they want you to find out on number one. Let's continue to number two and I look at it. What does it want us to do? They are saying Rona had two bags of maize flour weighing 70 kilograms. Two of them, two bags of maize flour, two of them equals to 70 kilograms. The two of them are 70, when you bring two together, they measure 70 kilograms, is what this statement is saying. Then, they are continuing with the question and saying, what is the, uh, what is the weight of five bags of flour? Now, if two, if you bring two, measures 70, two of them, measures 70. Then they are asking you, how many kilograms do you think five would measure if you bring five together? Two of them gives you 70. But they want you to tell them for five. So you have to work this also out. Let's come to number three. Number three they are saying, two pens cost 900 francs, when you are going to the shop, you give 900 francs, they give you two pens for 900 francs. Then they are saying, how much money will 11 pens cost of the same type? So if you take 900, they give you two pens. But they are still asking you, how much can you give the shopkeeper to give you 11, book, uh, 11 pens? at once, 
Remember, you have known the amount that you are spending on two. So, before you take a step, make sure you know for one. On all questions, you must know for one item. How much did you spend on the item? How much is the item wearing? Like, for instance, on number two, ask yourself, if two bucks is 70 kilograms, what about one? After getting one, then multiply by five. Don't waste a lot of time. As I wind up, please, I still refer you to this number. For any question, I will be in a position to attend to you. Don't call. Use WhatsApp message or just a direct message inbox. I will attend to you. As I went with my lesson, allow me to take this initiative. Again, to recognize the staff of BTN that has enabled us to have this initiative to deliver content to our children, to our candidates outside there, wherever the world, to make sure that in this situation we are in of coronavirus, we don't miss everything. Meanwhile, as is on the behalf of Wisdom Center teachers, we wish all our children outside there, those at Wisdom and out of Wisdom, we still wish you the best and we love you so much. At the same time, those ones who are not at Wisdom, but you are within Kigali here, you are within Nyamata around, you were close to Karumuna, we have school buses that move to collect our children from Kigali, from Nyamata, bringing children for studies within our school. Please, the school is a very good school. Performance, we make it. That one, obviously, like last year, we made 90.5% first graders. Only 9.5% got second grade, but with how many applicants? They only missed with one mark. Meanwhile, we were all going to register all our candidates in Division 1. And how much are we paying? Our school fees is so friendly, so friendly. We consider our children more than anything. We consider the future of our children more than anything. Because when you compare the service that we deliver to our children and the money we are paying, you cannot accept. You may think, no, what they are saying is not true. Well, how much do we pay for school fees? Only 70,000. And out of 70,000, you get your child with five aggregates outside there. 70,000. Brings you five aggregates. Last year we had around 33.33% with the five aggregates. Mathematics one, English one, science one, SST one, Kenya Rwanda one. All those kids there, we had 33%, 33.33% with the five aggregates. But remember, division one, they were 90 Point five percent. Those who missed, who came in Division Two, they just missed by only one mark. All of them, they had the sixteen aggregates. As where you are, as a parent, as a student, you are a pupil. At, are you a pupil at home at this same round? Please request your father, request your mother, talk to them politely. Are you a parent also? This is my advice. If you are able to deliver your child at Wisdom Center, and trust us, we assure you we shall make all possible ways until, until we make what you want. Our, uh, our motto says, the best gift is knowledge. We gift, our gift is uh, knowledge. So we give our kids actually knowledge, that's what it means. We wish you the best. Stay safe, stay home. Thank you.